Today we're going to be talking about what to wear on your first date and also essentials you're going to need on your date. Not just only on your first date, but just on any date you're going, any romantic date you're going in general with your partner or with this guy you've been dating for a while, you know, just stuff like that. Just start off by saying you are beautiful. You are beautiful inside and outside. Everyone has some beauty to them. Even people you think they are like the worst person on earth, they still have some beauty in them. Even though if it might be hard for some people to see it. I'm doing this video because it's, you know, it's like really fun and it's sort of like a girl talk. But at the same time, I don't want you to forget that how much makeup you have on or what you're wearing or what you look like or how you talk or how you act does not matter and does not affect how beautiful you are as a person. Everyone is beautiful and everyone is respectable and are valuable because we are all the same and we all have beauty in some way. Also, your confidence is the most important weapon that you have. Nothing is gonna take over confidence. No matter how much makeup you have, no matter what you're wearing, no matter what your hair looks like, no matter what your face looks like, no matter what, your confidence, your self-love, self-respect and self-value are the most important things that you have in life. As long as you don't respect yourself, no one else is going to do that. As long as you don't love yourself, no one else is, no one else is going to love you. Regardless of how beautiful you look physically, no one's going to give you the love, respect and value that you deserve unless you give it to yourself. I just wanted to, sorry, this became a bit of a... um motivational speak um i don't mean to go that deep but i'm just saying um please always remember that and don't get so up in you know in basic things like you know what makeup i should do and oh i don't look that good oh i need to do this i need to do that so things just look physically good and what is even physically good because what might be beautiful to me might not even be like even like nice looking to you might be really ugly to you so i just wanted to start off the video by this if you guys like this whole topic or you are just planning to go on a date or you just want to know what it is like for me like what i would wear on a first date or just on a date you know in general keep on watching i'm gonna start off by talking about what i would take on a date with me and uh, what you need on your first date in general and some tips on where to go what type of context your date should be in if you're not that comfortable with each other yet and also what i would personally wear if i was going on a first date or if i was going on a date in general so Let's say this is my purse that I'm taking with myself to the date. The things that I would put in it are, first of all, my highlighter. Not just for the date, this can be for just when you're just going out with your friends or anything. I feel like when I sweat or when I scratch my face or something, you know, and the weather is really warm, the first thing that disappears is my highlighter so i always like to carry my highlighter in my bag you don't even need a brush for this you can just go ahead and use it with your finger that's totally fine but yeah i would really want this glow on my face i just really like that look so i would definitely take my highlighter with me i would take my lipstick and my lip liner the reason why is because when you drink or eat or even talk for a while your lipstick starts to disappear Especially like in the inner, inner bit, like, you know, your top lip and bottom lip with the inner bit of it, it starts to disappear. You don't want that look. I mean, when I see myself in the mirror after like a while of eating and drinking and talking, I'm just like, oh, like that doesn't look that good. And one thing you want on your date is kissable lips. You want your lips to be appealing. Guys, if you're watching this, please moisturize your lips. No one wants to look at chapped cracked not kissable lips you want your lips to be so so kissable right this is not just for girls just to be clear so um with girls if you're wearing a lipstick if not that is totally up to you you don't have to wear a lipstick just make sure your lips are looking really healthy and you know nice looking and kissable what would you like in someone's lips if you were into them and you wanted to kiss their lips what would you want so just imagine that and 
go ahead and make your lips really kissable. I personally like more matte colors, but you could put like a bit of a shine on top. I do like like glittery, shimmery kind of lip look. That is totally up to you. Just remember, whatever lipstick you use, just take it with you and put it in your bag. Take your lip balm. You're definitely gonna need your lip balm. No matter what lipstick you use, no matter what you do, your lips are gonna go really dry. And again, as I said, you want kissable lips. So take your lip balm with you. Put some on when you go to the bathroom or when he goes to the bathroom. Another thing you should really take is a pad or a tampon. You always need a pad or a tampon in your bag, especially on your first day. It, what if it's like close to your period or you just finish your period and you feel like, oh, I'm not going to spot anymore. You get out of the car and first thing you realize is, oh my god, I'm bleeding. Like that is going to be such a big hassle and what if you're wearing something white? Just like my worst fear, not on a first day, just in general. What if my period just starts or what if I start spotting or something when I'm not expecting it? You do need a tampon or a pad. Whatever you use, just take some sort of sanitary pad or tampons with you just to prevent that whole drama, okay? Next thing is hair ties so you always need hair ties with you no matter how long your hair is i mean except if it's like really short and you can't really tie it back you're okay you're good if you have like long hair you always need hair ties with yourself even if you want to let your hair down on your date make sure you tie your hair back when you're in the car or when you're like just getting to the destination or whatever if he's not picking you up so um yeah just make sure you you have a hair tie with you because it might get really really hot the weather might be hot it might be in summer or you know you never know what's gonna happen or it might get really really windy and you're gonna get your hair all over your face while walking and trying to have a romantic time and your hair is enough to ruin your mood trust me so you definitely do need hair ties with yourself next thing is a comb if you watched my what's in my bag video i did say i carry a comb around with myself well you do need a comb with yourself all the time no matter how short or long your hair is but the longer your hair is the more tangled it gets and the more greasy it looks you know if your hair starts to look really greasy because you sweat a lot until you know you get ready and all that and you don't have enough time to take shower you don't want to take shower because you're ready you just want to get out of the house and you have super greasy hair you can just quickly comb your hair or brush your hair and just make sure you bring the comb with you because you can sweat again throughout the day when you go to the bathroom to freshen up make sure you give your hair a quick comb or quick brush and just your hair looks flawless again as if you just had a blow dry last thing i would take with myself on a date is my perfume whatever perfume you use make sure you take it with you but make sure you don't overdo it you know how some people, when they pass by, you're just like, oh my god, they smell so good, you know? Like, the amount of perfume they use is just enough. It's not too less that you can barely even smell it, and it's not too much that you're gonna go like, oh my god, I'm gonna get a headache. That has happened to me before. Like, I'm in an elevator, someone gets in, and they have too much perfume, and I'm just like, oh god, I'm gonna get like a freaking headache forever. Like, can you please just get out right now? You don't want that either. It is better to use long-lasting perfume to begin with, but again, if you feel like you might sweat or something, I feel like I'm super freaked out about sweating. I don't know why. I think I should do something about that. I don't know why I'm super freaked out about sweating. I've been saying the word sweat over and over. I feel like this video is more about sweating than like a first day. Anyway, yeah, take your perfume with you just to make sure you always smell nice and fresh, but do not overdo it. No one likes extreme smell. So now we're going to talk about some tips about where to go on your first date and what to do and this part is going to be specifically about people who are going on first dates or like it's the first month you know, know someone or you're just not that comfortable with the person my number one recommendation is don't ever go to a beggar place for your first date or if you're not that comfortable yet because you're having fun and everything's going well and you're having some drinks and here the dinner comes and it's beggars guess what it's gonna be a 
trauma for both of you. The guy is gonna gonna try and eat it like you know, like clean and normal, and the girl's gonna be super stressed out about her, her like lipstick going all over her face and just looking not decent, and that's just a hassle. That just ruins the mood. Like for me, if I go on a first date where I have to eat like beggars, that's just gonna ruin my whole mood because I have to focus on eating it very, very clean and that just, you know, messes with me. So my number one advice, do not go to a beggar place for your first date. Second advice, if you're going to an Italian restaurant with Italian cuisine and you wanna order pasta, because you do, my recommendation, order penne pasta because it's really easy to eat. If you order anything else you have to go like that and then you try to eat it and then it's gonna like go all over your face you're gonna get like sauce all over your chin and your lips and your cheeks and everywhere and it's just a big hassle so go with penne pasta because you can just pick it with your fork and easily eat it no drama looks sexy looks good so penne pasta if you want to have pasta number three if you are ordering pizza i, pe I personally wouldn't do pizza but if you're ordering pizza, I would prefer white base rather than red base. Because with red base, if you get some on your face, with guys it's different. Guys can just use a napkin and you know, get off the face. But with girls, girls, we have makeup on. We have so much foundation. We have so much everything on our face. And if you're gonna like clean your face with like a napkin, like this bit of your face with napkin, you're gonna take off the foundation. And guess what? You're gonna have a very tan and you know like other color face and then there's gonna be this bit that is like white or some other color that your foundation is not so that's just gonna look really awkward you know just saying I would never go for like a pizza in general but if I was going for a pizza I would go with like a white base rather than a red base because white base you can just easily take it off red base you have to like sort of put more effort in it and it is more noticeable also on your first date it really depends on what type of person you are, what type of person you're dating, it really depends on all that. But I would say, just go somewhere where you can chill. You can like have some drinks and have some quality time and just talk. Don't make it super complicated. Also, I don't recommend movies for the first day. You're together and then you just go and sit in a dark room for like two hours straight. And you have no interaction and both of you are like a bit nervous because obviously you're on your first date and you don't know what to do. Oh, should I hold his hand? Oh, sh oh, should I hold her hand? Should I do that? Oh my god, we have like one hour more left. What should we do after that? Where are we gonna go eat? Is it gonna go well? You know, you have these two hours of just stressing out about something. What I recommend is go to a nice bar, go to a really chill restaurant, you know, have a couple of drinks, laugh, spend time to enjoy each other, you know, just just spend time to get to know each other more rather than doing like, you know, crazy stuff or even like bowling and things like that. I do not like to go bowling on my first day ever because it's too much pressure, you know? It's too much pressure. You don't want to impress someone with your qualities about something or like mini golf or things like that. You don't want to impress no one. You just want to get to know the person first before getting to do something with them, you know? So things that requires like activities, I personally don't really like them as a first date or if I'm not that comfortable with the person yet. Look, if you're like best friends or something and then you start dating, that's really different because you're already a past that, you know, we're not really like that close and we're not really that comfortable with each, with each other phase. So you're all good to go. One more thing that is really important for you to have with you, especially if you're wearing high heels, is a pair of comfortable flats. Put it in your car or if you can, if you're bringing like a big bag, put it in a plastic bag and just put it in your bag. And just make sure you have it with you. If you have a long walk, just make sure you have a pair of flats and just be flip-flops, anything. Try not to wear heels that are so uncomfortable. Even if you're wearing heels, try to wear something that is pretty comfortable. What I recommend for high heels is these gel pads. These look amazing. These are a must-have for all girls who wear heels. They make life so much easier. They're super cheap and you can just wear them with pretty much any heels. Like there are some heels you can't wear it with, but most heels you can. And it does make a huge difference. Guys, please wear those. Even if you're wearing heels, I know heels are not as comfy, but just make sure you are 
fairly comfortable in your heels. If you're wearing your heels and you're not even walking with them and they're just hurting your feet, those heels are not for you, girl. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, please let me know in the comments down below what you would do on your first date and what would you prefer to wear or where would you prefer to go. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.